In today's video, we're going to jump into the Thinkorswim platform to learn how to add custom columns to better track and manage our trades and our open positions. Now, personally, I think that this is going to be useful for anyone watching, and I'm also going to show you how to find these online as well, so you don't have to worry about making them for yourself. Now, to begin with, let's go ahead and focus on how to create a couple custom columns for our watch list. And to begin, we do need to find a watch list. And if we look over here on my left hand side panel here, you can currently see I've got an options watch list pulled up. And right down below, we can see all the stock I'm currently keeping track of, like Apple, Affirm, and AMD. And if you were to look at the top of the watch list, you can also see the columns that I am currently looking at. So right here, that includes the current symbol of the stock the last traded price of the stock, the net change, so basically how much it's up or down for the day, but also the current bid and ask of the stock as well. And all that's great to see, but it is pretty basic. And if you ever wanted to customize these columns or add information to it that you like to keep track of, you can always do that by coming over here to the little gear icon in the upper right hand corner. You'll see that as soon as we click on that, we can then get a little pop-up window right here where we can again click on Customize. That'll then open up a little window right up here where we can see a list of all of the columns coming preloaded in Thinkorswim that we could add, and then our current set over here on the right, the ones that we're currently using. Now, if you do come over here and start scrolling through this list of available items here, it almost looks infinite. It looks like there's no end to the list but eventually there might be something that you want to add that's not in here. But just so we can get an idea on how this works, if I wanted to add, let's just say PE ratio, I wanted to see the price to earnings ratio for all of the stocks that I keep track of. Now I could just scroll through this list indefinitely until we get to the P's, but it's probably going to be a lot easier if I just come up here and look it up just by typing in PE. And now I do have to scroll through this list a little bit because it is still quite long. I guess PE is in a lot of different columns here. But here we can find PE and we're just going to go ahead and click on it. Then come down below and hit add item. I can then see it has been added to my current set. But to actually see it in action, we'll come down here below and hit OK. And now if I come back up here to my watch list and just give it a little bit of space for that column. We can now see the current PE for each of these stocks. So Apple's going to be 29, it looks like. AMD is 526. Amazon is 291. But again, that's how we're going to add a column to this watch list. But that's just the basics of this. Thinkorsim also offers us the ability to load our own custom columns, ones that we make ourselves. So just as an example, let's say that I wanted to see how much these companies were up or down year to date. And if I were to go back to that customize page, I wouldn't actually find that in the list of available columns. You're not going to find it. But like I said a second ago, we can make it ourselves and put it into this platform. Now, to be honest with you, it is already made, so we don't have to make this ourselves. If we go ahead and head over to my website and then just come here and scroll down the page a little bit. It's a little bit of a description in here. We can find the actual script right here. So this is the coding language for Thinkorswim called ThinkScript. And if I were to just come over here and copy this whole thing, this already pre-made script here, and just copy it, and then head back over to Thinkorswim, we can now take that script and come back over here to the watch list and open up that customize panel again. And now what we need to do is come over here to the list of available items and just scroll through this list until we find the custom columns. All right, so these ones right here. Each one of these are going to be blank and they're put here specifically for you to edit and customize yourself to load your own custom scripts. Now, since it makes sense, we'll just go ahead and begin with the first one here, custom one, and I'm just going to go ahead and double click on it. That'll then open up this new window over here on the right, this little pop-up window here. And the very first thing that I have to do is delete whatever's in here. So I'll come over to the right and hit delete. And now what we want to do is come up here to the ThinkScript editor, because we're going to be pasting in a script in here. And we can just come down below, and I'm going to hit Control v on my keyboard to paste in that script that I just copied. So right here we can see the script has been pasted. This is exactly what I wanted. But since I want this script to look back year to date, not just the past day, what I need to do is flip this over from D for day and just come down here below and click on year. 
Now with that done, the very last thing that I have to do is come back above and give it a name that I'm going to be able to remember. So right here where it says custom one, I'm going to go ahead and change that to, let's just say percent change YTD or year to date. Now that I've got that set, we'll just come down here below and hit OK to actually save it. And now in order to add it, we'll just come over here to the left hand side where we can now see that column percent change year to date. And to add it, we'll just double click on it. And it looks like I already had it over here. So let me just go ahead and delete one of those. We only need one of them. And now to see it, let's just come down here below and hit the OK button. Looking right here in the watch list, if we give it a little bit more space, we can now see that brand new column showing us the percent change year to date for each individual stock. You can also see that the script changes the background color of the column depending on whether or not the stock is up or down year to date. So obviously this right here is saying Apple is up 35% this year. It looks like a firm is up 45%. Amazon's up 42%. But down here below, we can see Bank of America and BABA are both down, with Bank of America down about 14%. So I think you get the idea. These custom columns can be incredibly useful and pretty much tailored in nearly any way you want. Learning ThinkScript can definitely be helpful, but even if you don't know how to write the script, there is a very helpful website called usethinkscript.com, which is a really good place to find scripts that others have already made. So let's just say that I wanted to have a brand new column in my watch list, which showed us the current IV rank for each of these stocks. So on this website, if we were to scroll back up to the top of the page and come up here to the search box, I'm just going to come up here and type in, let's say IV rank column. Guess I didn't need it in all caps. We'll go ahead and hit enter to search. If we were to look through this list, it looks like there's a few, but none of these seem to be super specific. This one at least mentions it. So let's go ahead and open up this one here. And it looks like this person added a script right here. It looks like this is an image of what it's going to look like. So it looks like they've got the IV column right here or IV rank, I would assume. And it looks like the color of the text also flips back and forth between green and red. And I would assume that's based off of a certain value of IV rank. But if we scroll down a little bit, we can see the script right here. Looks like they wrote out everything for us. And yep, it looks like if we read this script, it says if the IV rank is less than 50, then the color is going to be red. And if the IV rank is greater than 50, then the color is going to be green. So I'd assume somebody who sells option premium probably made this because that's probably how I would do it. But if we wanted to copy this and use it for ourselves, let's just come back up here to the top. You can see all these notes up here above. That's what these little pound signs basically denote is that these are notes and they're not actually script that uh, the platform is looking to read. So we can just go ahead and skip over that and instead just copy from here and go down a little bit. Make sure to grab the whole thing here. Now I'm just going to hit control C to copy it. We can then head back over to the Thinkorsim platform. And just like before, in order for us to add that custom column, we'll come back over here to the watch list and click on the little gear icon. We'll then click on customize. That'll then open up the exact same pop-up as before. And if we come over here to the list of available items and just scroll through here and find those custom columns again, and we'll just use the next one on the list here, custom two. We'll then double click on it to open it on up. Within that little pop-up on the right, we can then start by deleting whatever's preloaded in here. So we'll just start by deleting that out of here. We'll then come back up here to the ThinkScript editor, and I'm just going to click in this little empty box here, and then hit Control v to paste. And there we go. We can see that this script is quite a bit longer than the first one we used, but we've got all of it in here. And I do want to leave this set today, but I think I'll flip this name over from custom to to something I would actually be able to find, IV rank. And actually, what I also want to do is flip over that column that changed the color. So right down here below, we currently have it set that if IV rank is less than 50, then the color is going to be red. But I actually want to be less than 30. And I also want it to color green if it's greater than 30. So I'm going to change that as well. And now that we've got everything set, I'm just going to come down here and hit OK to save it. And now in order to actually see it, we'll just come over here and hit OK one more time. We can now look up at the watch list. And if I give it a little bit of space to actually see it, we can now see our brand new IV rank column. 
And just like we wanted, we can see it is color coded. So it looks like if the IV rank is less than 30, it shows up as red. So we can see here Apple is 11. A firm is 28, but if we come down here to Activision, it's above 30, so it is currently in green. So all of that is going to be incredibly useful. And I also want to mention that all of those custom columns that we just added can also be added to our positions page right over here on the right. And honestly, you're pretty much going to add them to your positions page in the identical manner. We're going to start by finding our settings icon in the upper right hand corner. So right here, we're going to go ahead and click on that. You're going to see a nearly identical window that we saw before pop up, but now this is for our positions page. And looking through this list of available items, I can actually already see the very first one that we made together. So right here, percent change year to date. And if I were to double click on that, we can now see it's been added to my current set over here. But if I also wanted to add the second column, the IV rank column, we can come up here and search for it. So we're just going to search for IV rank. And just like before, we'll come down here and double click on it to add it to our current set over here. And now to see that, we'll just come down here below and hit OK. And now we can see those brand new columns right up here for our positions as well. So on Apple, I can see it's up 35%. AMD, it looks like is up 96%. Google is up 41%. But if we were to look to the IV rank just to the right, we can also see the current IV rank. So I might look at selling premium against some of these guys. But again, that's how you can create custom columns for your watch list and your positions within Thinkorswim. This might seem like a small feature, but it can really make a big difference in your ability to manage and track your trades. It's definitely not perfect, and there are some limitations to what information you can access with these scripts. But like I said, it can be incredibly helpful nonetheless. Hopefully that helped, and if you are looking to learn more, you might find this next one helpful as well. But otherwise, I hope you all have a great rest of your week, and I'll catch you on the next one.